From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Here are your top stories on this Friday, September 10th. Sweeping mandates in his most aggressive action yet, President Biden announced new COVID vaccine mandates that will affect up to 100 million Americans. He laid out his strategy yesterday to fight the latest coronavirus surge. It includes requiring all federal workers to get vaccinated or possibly lose their jobs. And businesses with more than 100 employees ensuring its workers are vaccinated or tested weekly. Currently, the U.S. is averaging more than 140,000 new COVID cases and 1,000 deaths per day. It's in part because of the incredible loss that we feel. Been here many times, losing the families. You all lost loved ones as if, as if they just left the room. Tomorrow marks 20 years since the 9-11 attacks and firefighters in our state will be holding a special memorial ceremony this morning at the Connecticut Fire Academy. Just under 3,000 people died that day and over 400 were emergency responders who selflessly ran into harm's way to try and save those trapped inside the buildings. The ceremony will start at 9 a.m. Police are investigating after suspects walked into unlocked homes and stole cars from several shoreline towns. One of those cars was found after it crashed in Plymouth last night. Police have identified the suspects and they tell us that they are looking for suspects that crashed that car in Plymouth this morning. All right, temperature today will top out in the mid 70s, a little bit cooler than normal. 78 is the normal high. Hi, everybody. Good morning. We're taking a look at some absolutely gorgeous weather after yesterday's raucous weather. We need a little bit of a break and we're going to get one this weekend. Mostly sunny, breezy and dry. The sun was up at 626, sets at 708. Overnight lows tonight. Whoa, whoa, it's cool. Upper 40s, low 50s. Grab that blanket, open up the windows, let some fresh air in. Mother Nature's air conditioning. And we are going to be chilly tonight as uh, the temperatures drop. Now, it's typical overnight low is about 57, so we're going to be cooler than that. And then your seven day forecast 78 tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a beautiful day. And then it gets a little bit warmer for Sunday with a temperature of 85 degrees and a couple of more clouds around for good measure. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Have a great day.